Hi, I'm Annika Sweeney, Education and Outreach Coordinator for Whatcom Conservation District. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we love that the rain makes it green and beautiful, but it's also important to know where that water goes. When rain, sleet, hail, or snow hit our roofs, driveways, roads, and other hard surfaces, it can't be absorbed. So it runs off towards the street and into catch basins, also commonly called storm drains. A catch basin or storm drain is a large square drain in the ground, often located in the street or along a curbside covered by a grate. Its purpose is to catch rainfall or surface runoff from properties and streets and remove some of that sediment before it flows out through the rest of the system. Now when you flush your toilet or use your sink at home, that water is connected to a sewer system or septic system where the water is cleaned. When water flows into a storm drain or a ditch, there is no filtration or treatment that cleans that water. Whatever goes down the storm drain flows directly into our creeks, lakes, and bays. This polluted water is harmful to fish, wildlife, and our health. We all want clean water, but not everyone understands their connection to keeping it clean. Water connects us from the tops of the snow-capped mountains through the rivers, creeks, and storm drains, and out into the bays. Now that you know what stormwater is and the parts that make up a stormwater system, let's talk about what we can do to keep water clean. We all have a responsibility to reduce the pollutants that come off our properties and protect the health of our river, lakes, and bays. Most of us depend on our cars to get from place to place, and our cars are a major source of pollutants in stormwater. It's important to stay up to date on your car maintenance and fix leaks quickly. Need a car wash? The best option is to take it to a commercial car wash. They recycle water so they use less of it, and they also send polluted wash water to the sewer system where it is cleaned before entering our waterways. If you need to wash at home, do it over the grass or lawn or gravel surface so that the wash water can filter through the soil. That soil acts like a sponge, soaking up the polluted water before it reaches the storm drain or ditch. When it comes to lawn care, there are a few things that you can do to reduce pollutants in stormwater. Avoid applying lawn chemicals whenever possible. It's also important that you never dump yard waste like leaves or grass clippings. It's pollution and can clog culverts, storm drains, and pipes leading to flooding, and it also adds nutrients and other pollutants to the water and can spread invasive plants. It's best to take your yard waste to a green waste facility. If you choose to compost your yard waste, make sure you do it in a location that's far away from streams, ditches, ponds, and wetlands. Similarly, keep trash and debris out of your stormwater system. This includes anything from garbage bags to bottles to cigarette butts. Avoid putting out your garbage and recycling too early for curbside pickup if it's windy or there's wind in the forecast, because even the smallest piece of garbage can build up to clog your stormwater system, cause flooding, harm wildlife, and let's be honest, it's just not very nice to look at. If you're storing any chemicals on your property, such as paint or oil, make sure that they're properly contained, undercover, and not leaking. Another important piece of stormwater health is to pick up after your pets. When stormwater runs off our yards and into storm drains, what goes with it? You guessed it, poop. Pet poop carries bacteria, viruses, and parasites that can harm our health, as well as the health of fish and aquatic plants. The best solution is to scoop, bag, and trash every poop. Make sure you clean up any poo piles in your yard at least weekly, ideally every day, and especially before it rains. In the end, just remember this, only rain down the drain. If you see someone dumping anything into a catch basin or a ditch, let your local authorities know immediately and they can help reduce the potential impacts of that pollution. We all know the old saying, if you see something, say something. Thanks for joining us today. To learn more about water quality in your neighborhood and ways that you can make a difference at home and in your community, visit whatcomcd.org.